Hi, Wolfie. This is Mighty Truck by Chris Barton and illustrated by Troy Cummings. To Harvey, thanks for playing cars and trucks with me while I work on this book. Everything Clarence did for fun somehow seemed to get him dirty. Not just a little splatter on the mud flaps dirty, really dirty, really really dirty. Clarence didn't mind. Mm -hmm. But his boss did. Clarence, is that you under all that muck? Hattie teased. Clean up before work starts. Bro and I were hoping to have time for donuts. Clarence said, won't the rain get me clean? Three cloudbursts, two downpours, and a serious drencher wouldn't do it. Get yourself to a truck wash now. All right, I'll go, Clarence sighed, if you say so. By the time Clarence made it to the truck wash, thunder was rumbling. Suds sprayed, slappers whapped. Water splashed from every angle just then. Ka flash, kaboom! Lightning struck, everything shook. The fizzing, frothing, glowing foam washed Clarence clean. His paint shimmered, glimmered, glistened, and gleamed. Clarence felt revved up, raring to roll. And powerful, he said. Really, really powerful. Soon Clarence found Bruno stuck in some mud. Need a little help? No need to dirty yourself, shiny clean stranger, said Bruno. My friend Clarence is on his way. We're going for donuts. He'll push me loose. You joker, said Clarence. All right, let's go. He meant to give just a nudge, but gosh, you sure are mighty truck, yelled Bruno. Yelled Bruno, mighty truck. Clarence liked the sound of that. Help! Donuts would have to wait. Clarence hurried off and found his neighbor, Mr. Dent. He shifted down into his mighty truck voice. What's the trouble, sir? Dude, my cat, Throttle, is stuck in a tree. I'll get him down, said Clarence. Um, where's the tree? It, like, just got called away, Mr. Dent said. All right, let's go. Time for Turbo. The spade truck had a head start, but didn't have a mighty speed. When Clarence caught up, Throttle was barely hanging on. Clarence spun into reverse. Throttle leaped into his truck bed, and they both headed home. Major thanks, dude, said Mr. Dent. Catch you later. Uh, just call me Mighty Truck. Clarence drove away to look for Bruno, wondering if there was still time for donuts. Right then, the voice of Stella, the news helicopter, came in on the radio. Danger, today's storm has knocked loose a beam on the new Axelberg high-rise. It could fall at any minute. Oh, no. All right, let's go. Look out below. Mighty Truck knew what he had to do. But how will I get somewhere so high in the air? He wondered. All right, let's go. Grow, wheels, grow. Mighty Truck pumped, pumped, pumped air into his tires, and he zoomed off to the top of the garage. Down into another building. Way and way, boing, way back up high, right on top of the high rise.
Mighty Truck swept the dangling beam away from the edge of the roof, fired up his brightest headlights, and welded the loose girder back into place. That Mighty Truck did it! Axelborg cheered as Mighty Truck bounced safely into a pile of dirt. Everyone rushed to meet their new hero, but all they found was grimy old Clarence. Poof! Did you see that through your filthy windshield? Hattie asked. Mighty Truck saved the day. Clarence considered telling her that he was Mighty Truck, but if anyone knew, they might expect him to stay clean all the time, and he really, 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 really did not want to do that. Not when getting dirty meant having fun. Besides, Clarence thought as he and Bruno finally got those donuts, help was only a wash away. The end. And there's Chris Gordon. Mm -hmm. Help is only a wash away. And that was Mighty Truck by Chris Barton and Troy Cummings. <laughs>